All right, people, it's weather time, quarter to six. We have a winter storm watch in effect for the counties you see shaded in blue. That'll kick in at 3 a.m., so early tomorrow morning, and it is going to continue through 6 p.m., although I think most of our accumulation is going to be coming in during the morning hours, and more specifically, uh, I think between 8 a.m. and noon, I think we're going to get uh, a pretty good blast of snow coming through southern Wisconsin, and uh, I think we could get, at, at least in some spots, and I'm not talking ever, I'm talking where the heaviest snow falls, three hours of heavy snow. Heavy snow, an inch to two inches per hour. So you can do the math just during that three-hour stretch, potentially six inches of snow over a three-hour stretch locally. So that will cause some major problems. It is going to be a wet, heavy snow, difficult to move around, difficult for the road crews to move around uh, as well. But temperatures will be up around freezing. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to clear that off by afternoon. 26 degrees right now. Temperatures are mostly in the 20s across southern Wisconsin now. The wind is pretty light. I think we're going to be around 5 to 10 during the day with increasing wind overnight tonight and into tomorrow. 44, the expected high, 44, 45. Yeah, wind chills won't be a huge issue today with the wind in the 5 to 10 mile per hour range. High pressure drifts away. That'll kind of open the gate for some clouds to work their way in this afternoon. Here's the leading edge of rain, 6.30 p.m. That expands northward. We may get a touch of rain, Madison and points south and east initially, but it will be a pretty quick change over to snow for Madison. Janesville, I think by daybreak tomorrow or close to daybreak, this is 6.30, still rain. Rain east of Janesville on toward Milwaukee, so uh, roughly south and east of the uh, I-90-94, that corner. But north of there, snow. And watch how this picks up. The heaviest at daybreak will be over eastern Iowa. But that shifts into Wisconsin. And a band of heavy snow will push across the region during the morning hours. This will taper off pretty quickly and come to an end. 6.30, it looks like it's long gone at that point. And other than a few flurries during the evening hours, as this cold front pushes through, I. I think we're dry overnight uh, Thursday night and dry into Friday as well with partly sunny skies. Uh, it will be a little bit cooler Friday. We're not going to get a big drop in the temperatures. Still some things to iron out as far as the exact track of this goes. But I can tell you, if you watched the news last night and you're, you're watching right now, there have been some changes and Madison's totals for one have gone up and that's because the system has shifted a little bit more to the south and east. Still a pretty broad range. We'd like to narrow this down a little more, being 24 hours away, but anywhere from 5.7 to 9.6. I think Madison's probably going to come in 6, 7 inches, kind of right in the middle of this. And uh, the 5 to 8 inch band generally right here, which again is a little farther south and east than what it looked like last night. And a pretty sharp cutoff in those snow totals moving to the south and east as there will be considerably more rain in that direction. It may rain well into the morning for far southeast Wisconsin. All right, first alert day for tomorrow due to the heavy, wet snow, difficult travel conditions, greatly reduced visibility at times with very heavy snow and strong wind during the morning. And then nice and quiet heading into the weekend. Uh, looks nice Saturday, Sunday with lots of sunshine. Aaron.